Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video I want to share um, a week of dinners. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I eat during the week, what I cook for dinner. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people usually do a week of breakfast, but I legit eat the same breakfast every single day, so that wouldn't be very exciting. Um, <laughs> so dinner, like, I do usually... Um, have like one meal like a few times a week or like a couple times a week like I do alternate like three or four meals throughout the week so like it's not different every single night but um I do you know try to switch it up um I don't think I've mentioned it on my YouTube I write three out of the four meal plans for the Sculpt You um which is a fitness app um created by Katrina Wright um college clean eating on Instagram um I've been doing that since April um and that has honestly given me so much more variety in my diet because I have to be creative like when I'm writing the meal plans and then a lot of times I just you know take the meals that I've written for that week and make them for myself so honestly it's made meal planning very easy for me um I mean obviously I still have to think of them the meals you know while I'm writing them so whatever sometimes it's hard but it makes cooking for myself easier <laughs> um things are going to change soon when I move in with Scott and you know we're gonna have to figure that out but he doesn't eat, like a lot of vegetables so <laughs> um that's yeah that's a future problem but um yeah so today I am making hummus chicken and broccoli and potatoes um so i'll show you guys like as i make it zoe is looking at me so mad i'm interrupting her nap i'm very sorry <laughs> um so i'll show you guys as i make it um i actually am having like a very bad body image day today um i like i don't know i didn't really eat anything like crazy over the weekend which like crazy you know um I just, I mean, I, I definitely, I like overate last night, so my stomach hurt, and then like I went to bed feeling really bloated, and then I woke up still feeling bloated, which like is a sucky feeling, and like, I don't know, it's really like easy to get into your head about that, but like, I don't, you still have to eat normally, even if you're like not feeling great about yourself, you're feeling bloated, like you still gotta eat, you get hungry, you eat, um, don't restrict because you don't feel great. Um, tip number one wear baggy clothes can't really tell well, i guess you can kind of tell this this bad boy's very baggy um <laughs> it does help that i work from home and i can wear baggy clothes um wow i'm just zooming in on my face fantastic <laughs> um don't you know overanalyze in the mirror i used to do that all the time like i would literally check my stomach every time i ate to see if it, <laughs> it looks like i gained weight which you know after you eat your stomach is gonna be, you know, distended because there's food in there. It's not empty. Imagine that. Um, so yeah, try not to like just obsess about it. Just go about your routine as normal. Um, I went to the gym this morning like I always do. Um, just been drinking a lot of water. I ate. I actually was like pretty hungry today, which like makes me get into my head you know i'm like why am i so hungry like i ate so much yesterday like i shouldn't be this hungry but like i said honor your hunger cues it's okay if you overate yesterday or the day before that there's no restricting you just go about your normal business so <laughs> with that that was the longest intro ever gonna start cooking okay so here are the dinner ingredients i have my chicken here um this chicken breasts. I am just gonna cook like everything that I bought. So this is gonna be like three meals I plan on it making. Um, and it's it's hummus chicken, so it's gonna be coated in hummus. I love Ithaca, favorite brand of hummus, and the lemon garlic, fave flavor. Um, it's gonna be coated in hummus and olive oil. And then um, having broccoli, I'm gonna make this in the air fryer. And then potatoes, I'm just gonna roast these. I already started preheating heat. Well. Preheating the oven to 375. Um, I'm going to chop up my potatoes um, and then I'll. The chicken? <laughs> I am realizing the way that I wrote the recipe or like the instructions I wrote for the recipe was to like mix together like the 
or put the hummus and the olive oil and the chicken in like a Ziploc bag and like mix it all together that way, but I don't have any Ziploc bags. So um, I'm just gonna mix it all together in a bowl, which isn't that different. I just feel like in a Ziploc, like you can really, can really get it in all those crevices. Um, and I'm, I don't measure anything. So, I mean, my meal plans have measurements. If you want to check out the sculpt you, meal plans are pretty great if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> but when I cook, I don't measure mostly. So, um, yeah, let's, let's start. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Okay, here's the chicken pre-oven. Um, I literally used the whole tub of hummus and probably like two-ish tablespoons of olive oil. Just mixed it together um, to coat the chicken breast and I'm probably gonna cook that for like 30-ish minutes just until it's cooked through. I literally always just cut it in half to see if it's cooked in the middle. Light. Okay, final products. I got my chicken, broccoli, that's a little crispier than I anticipated. Okay, only like some pieces, but my bad. And my um, potatoes. Voila. Happy Thursday. Tuesday. <laughs> Today's Tuesday, not Thursday. I wish it was Thursday. It's Tuesday, <laughs> dinner time. Um, my hair is looking all crazy. Um, today we're making shrimp fried rice. So um, we have onion, broccoli, garlic, and then the sauce is gonna be sesame oil, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. I'm gonna need eggs. That step comes a little later, but I guess I'll take them out. Um, the recipe that I'm following says to use day old rice, but I'm using rice that I microwaved a little while ago and it has been sitting in the fridge for not that long, like 30 minutes. <laughs> um, so eggs, mm, okay, I'm gonna get the older eggs out. Eggs, eggs. Um, and shrimp, which is defrosting. Um, pro tip, I like just started, oh, I thought I stopped that for a second. I just started buying um, raw shrimp, like very recently. I used to buy the frozen, just like cooked shrimp. And now, like if you, if you buy the frozen raw shrimp, even though it's like grosser and more of a pain in the ass, it's not even that big of a deal. They still cook in like five minutes. It makes a world of a difference. Like the um, cooked shrimp is just, it gets so rubbery. Like it's, it's really gross. Like I was kind of turned off of shrimp for a while. And then I got the raw shrimp significantly better so just turn the heat on i need to use literally a, um, a pot <laughs> because my i can't talk today my pan isn't big enough for all this stuff so um once i have all these all this stuff in here i'll show you guys <laughs> okay so i've had this sauteing for about five minutes i had the heat a little oh had the heat a little too high, so the onions are a little crisper than they- Oh, okay, this is getting all foggy. Good, good job. So I'm gonna, um, make like a little well. I'm gonna respray this so the eggs don't stick. Crack the eggs into here and then scramble them. And then mix it all back in together. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust 
Using our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Okay, so now the eggs are scrambled and incorporated in there. Now I lowered the heat um, and I'm going to add in my rice. So I had that rice that was left over and then my rice that's only been in there for like... Oh, okay. <laughs> so my rice and then... Alright, you don't need to watch me throw that out. Then I'm going to do a tablespoon of rice vinegar, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and then... A lot more than a tablespoon of this, probably like quarter cup, third cup. Just gonna eyeball the soy sauce, honestly, but I'll show you when it's all um, incorporated. The finished product, that was actually super easy. Um, once I put everything into the pot, like combined it in here, um, this is gonna be like three to four meals, by the way, I don't think I said that, so. There's my rice, and then I just cooked my shrimp separately in another pan, and then, just with a little bit of salt and then threw it on top of here. That literally took like 15 minutes, if that. So easy, and this is about to be so good. Happy Wednesday, guys. I am just grabbing a spin drift to go with my dinner. I bought the lime ones, if it focuses, lime ones. I used to love the blackberry ones, but they haven't had them in Stop and Shop for like probably six months. Honestly, maybe more, I don't know. So I've been getting the lime, or the lemon is great. I love most of them. Doesn't matter the flavor, but um, I'm having shrimp fried rice again. Not very exciting. Um, I just added a little extra soy sauce to freshen her up. Um, I don't think I said this yesterday, but um, I only prepped like the rice, the big batch of rice, and then I'm just gonna cook the shrimp like fresh when I have it. Um, I feel like shrimp doesn't really keep well when you, like, I don't know, if you were to heat it up again, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's not, like, good in the fridge. Um, so yeah, nothing really exciting. Um, kind of an eventful day, though. If you follow me on Instagram, I was, um, documenting my experience. There was a hornet in the apartment. Um, so that was fun. Long story short, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't get it out. Um, it was crawling around on the window over here um and i didn't know what to do and zoe kept trying to like swat at it and then i think i scared her because i like sprinted over and like scooped her up i was like stay away that's gonna hurt um and then it was in here for a while and i was like all right nothing's happening so i need to try to do something so i picked zoe up and i threw a pillow at the hornet and then i sprinted into colleen's room and locked myself in there but when I threw the pillow, Zoe got upset and jumped out of my arms and scratched me. So I got this nice little scratch. Actually really hurt. Um, and then she was mad at me. I think she still is mad at me. Um, I didn't hit the fly. I mean the hornet. I didn't hit the hornet that I know of. I don't know. I sprinted. I had the door open this whole time. So I was hoping when the pillow hit it, he would fly out the door. Um, didn't fly out the door. So I definitely just pissed him off pissed Zoe off, got scratched, um, and I let like five flies in the house in the process. So, um, I don't know what happened, but I saw it like crawling around like at the top of the window, like it was moving. Um, so I opened the door again. I closed it because I was like, there are so many bugs in here. I need to stop. So, um, opened the door again, hid in my room because I started working in my room because I was working from home today and I was afraid. Um, and I came back out here. I think it flew out the door. Otherwise, I just can't find it, but I haven't seen it, so I think it's gone. I don't know. Very eventful. Not in a good way, but <laughs> it's fine. Hornet's gone. Zoe's maybe still mad. She's been messing with the flies. Oh, she's staring at me. Look at her. Oh, foot. Hello, Miss Majestic. All right. Mm-hmm. Are you tired? Oh, I had a hard day. I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry. I'm so annoying. 
Oh, that's cute. No, it's still zooming into my face. Fantastic. Oh, zooming in more. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna eat. I'm really greasy. I'm gonna eat my shrimp fried rice, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thursday, folks. We made it. I feel like once I get past Thursday, I'm in the home stretch because I work from home on Fridays. Um, I do have to run a meeting on Friday mornings, but it's whatever. It's fine because I could do it from home. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Well, first of all, I actually realized that well, I always do that. I just hold this at such a low angle and then I have 12 chins. Um, I realized that the past two days I was wearing the same shirt, but I promise you it wasn't dirty. When I get home from work, I always change into comfy clothes because I feel like it's just way too early to put on my pajamas. So I do comfy clothes and then pajamas. I don't know if that's weird, but then I, I, I'm only wearing my comfy clothes for a couple of hours, so it's not dirty. I just, you know, wear them a few times during the week, and then I wash them. That's my process, in case anyone's wondering. If anyone else does that, just let me know that I'm not weird. Um, I also, today's kind of cool, special, I guess, because it's officially one year of me having my period back, which is awesome. Not having a, I mean, you know, having a period kind of sucks, but having it means that my body's working and it has been working for a whole year, um, which is awesome. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I didn't have my period for six years because I was on birth control and then I had an eating disorder. So that's what happened. And then I, you know, went all in and committed to recovering and I have had my period for a year now. So that's amazing. Um, I'm so sorry, but I'm having shrimp fried rice again for a third day in a row but i finished my shrimp so i will be having something different tomorrow um it's just so much easier for me to like prep something like in bulk and then come home and just you know like i said like just make the sh shrimp really quick i'm so lazy after work and usually quite hungry so just make something real quick and that's what works for me and i'm freaking tired so it's easiest um I also realized I grabbed a spoon for my rice and I've been, I don't know why, because it's just easier to like scoop out of the big container, but I'm always a fork gal, even with like mac and cheese, I feel like they were like the, sp the spoon people and the fork people, I was always a fork person. And I've been eating the shrimp fried rice with a fork for the past two days. I don't know why I grabbed a spoon today, but I don't want to dirty another utensil, so I guess I'm using a spoon. Um... And yeah, this was a really long ramble. I promise I will be eating something different tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Friday dinner. I got chickpea pasta with chicken sausage and spinach and cheese. I'm a little bit afraid of the chicken sausage because I've never tried it before. And I don't usually like sausage, so we'll see. Um, and I picked myself up a little Alipop strawberry vanilla from the store. So exciting stuff. I'm excited. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a few days since I picked up my camera. <laughs> um, I honestly completely forgot over the weekend that I was filming this video, so I didn't film any dinners that I had over the weekend. Any dinners? The two dinners that I had over the weekend, which I really did want to show you guys because on the weekends, you know, that's when I'm most out of my routine. I do tend to eat out um, most weekends, at least one day, sometimes both. Um, I'm trying to get out of the habit of ordering in on Friday nights because I'm trying to save a little bit of money and I do usually go food shopping on Friday nights so like why not just cook what I buy? It's really just laziness. <laughs> I just show so shot at the end of the week like just making myself food shop is a struggle but I like getting it done like on a Friday. It's more like a Friday afternoon. I go at like 4 p.m. I'm being really dramatic <laughs> but um yeah, so, let's see, so Friday night I had the pasta, I showed you guys that, and then Saturday night I went out and I had a lobster roll, um, this cat, um, honestly I think lit it was the best lobster roll I've ever had, um, I usually get a cold lobster roll, which absolutely slaps, but I got a hot lobster roll for the first time, it was so good, so good, lobster just smothered in butter on a roll, like, you absolutely cannot go wrong. It was so freaking good. Um, and that came with fries. So just living, living the high life on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, last night, um, we went to Colleen's parents' house for dinner. So her mom cooked um, yellowfin tuna. So we had tuna. Um, 
some cauliflower and asparagus, sweet potatoes and salad. So a nice home cooked meal that I didn't have to make, which is always nice. Um, and yeah, so that's, I do try to, you know, I don't know, I, I eat normally. There's no normal, you know, I, I just am more out of my routine on the weekends, I guess. So like, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, there is that balance there. Like you can go out on the weekends and then, you know, but it shouldn't be like a binge restrict kind of thing. Like you shouldn't be eating super clean during the week and then eat, um, you know, trash on the weekends, like go crazy on the weekends. Um, I mean, I still had a nice healthy dinner last night and that's not to say that my lobster roll wasn't healthy. Like sure it was higher in fat, but it still, you know, had proteins, proteins, protein, carbs and fat. Like it was a balanced meal. Um, so yeah, I don't know, that's what I wanted to show, and I, you know, forgot to film those meals. But, you know, I'm sorry there wasn't that much variety throughout the week, that really is just kind of how my weeks tend to be. Um, I eat the same meal a few times. Um, I did just cook, so I'll show you guys what I made. Um, it's the same as Friday night. Got a big old bowl of pasta, um, chicken sausage. Uh, Friday night I used spinach, tonight I air fried some broccoli. And cheese, of course, which I never used to allow myself to eat, but honestly, what is a bowl of pasta without cheese? A nutritional yeast does not taste like cheese. I don't care what anyone says, because um, I convinced myself of that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. I hope, you know, maybe you guys got some meal ideas, some meal inspo from this. Um, every week is different for me. That was just, you know, last week into this week. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more meal ideas, recipes, things like that. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys next time.